Hi everyone, Tom Nickel here, and today we're going to showcase how to migrate an application from on-premises VMware into Google Cloud Platform, GCP, in just a few minutes. We'll start in an application we have running in VMware that's called Sugar CRM. Let's log in and poke around a bit quick just to see how it performs while running on-premises. And let's also go ahead and create an account now so that we can see this account persist and follow us around as we migrate to and from GCP. Back to vCenter, here's the VM for our Sugar CRM application. You can see it has a little over one terabyte worth of hard disks attached. That's important because oftentimes with cloud migrations, a huge data set can often become a challenging bottleneck in terms of transfer time and ultimately impacting that application's time to cloud. Velostrata eliminates that issue by starting the application in the cloud first and then transferring all the cold data second, which we'll see firsthand shortly. Now, all we've got to do to kick this off is right click the Sugar CRM VM and select Velostrata Operations, and then we'll go ahead and select Migrate. After that, you'll click through a few prompts via our wizard that lets you select your cloud and instance options. Here you can also see that Velostrata provides right-sizing options where we use usage statistics to make cloud instance recommendations based on either cost or performance. Uh, this is to help you pick the right cloud instances before you migrate, uh, which should help facilitate keeping you within your cloud budget. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and click Next through the rest of these screens. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the background while this application migrates into GCP. So to get these applications running in under 10 minutes, we leverage our patented streaming technology, which requires no agents and avoids full data replication up front. Essentially, we'll only transfer the data necessary for the application to run upfront, uh, while our WAN optimizations and multi-tier caching ensure normal application performance in the cloud. And then once that application is running upfront in the cloud within just a few minutes, that's when we'll begin transferring the rest of the cold data into GCP. So as this migration progresses, you can see we're giving you status updates from within the vSphere web client, another advantage to Velostrata, no new dashboards to learn. Skipping ahead, we can see that Sugar CRM is now live in GCP after about 10 minutes. So now let's go back to Sugar CRM the app and see how it's running. Now you can see that we've automatically updated the DNS records as well. So there's essentially near zero downtime of this application, making it really easy to plan maintenance windows, but also avoiding complex cutovers and things like that, since Velostrata handles all of those actions automatically. And that's another reason why we can start these applications in the cloud in less than 10 minutes. So logging into Sugar CRM, we can see it's running smoothly, and we can see the record we created before the migration is still here, just as it should be, illustrating, of course, that there is zero data loss when you migrate from on-prem and into GCP using Velostrata. We're actually gonna add one more new record now uh, because we're going to reference that a little bit later. Going back to vCenter, uh, we can see that our status is now migrating because while the application runs smoothly in GCP, we're also now transferring all the cold data in the background transparently to you and your end users. This is an easy way for line of business owners to make sure their SLA requirements are met and that downtime is kept to a minimum during migrations. For a normal migration, at this point you just let the data migration complete in the background, but we want to showcase another feature of ours, which is seamless rollback to on-prem. We obviously hope you won't have to use this capability much, but it is there as a safety net when you need it. Uh, in this case, if something isn't working quite right in the cloud, you've got a fast, easy route back to on-prem so that you can troubleshoot and then try another migration later, but without extensive downtime or complication or data sync or data loss or anything like that. 
To start a rollback, we'll pause the data migration that was in progress. Then we'll go ahead and right click our VM again, go back to Velostrata Operations, and we will select Run on Premises. This will start the process of getting the application running back on-prem within just another few minutes. So whether you're going into the cloud or back on-prem, it's all very quick and very frictionless. Skipping ahead a bit, you can see this took under 10 minutes as well, just like our migration did. And the app is once again running on-prem. Let's log back into Sugar CRM so that you can see it's once again running smoothly with the same DNS and let's find the record we created before we rolled back to make sure that once again there's been no data loss and everything is still intact. What we've shown in this video is that with Velostrata it's fast and easy to move applications from on-premises and into GCP with minimal downtime and complexity and with the right sizing options to stay within your cloud budget. We've also shown how easy it is to get back on-prem if needed without any delay or data loss. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.